Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip. Today we're going to talk about the Scalable Vector Graphic or the SVG. I wanted to kind of delve into using SVGs for my websites, for the logos or perhaps for other things. The first step that I wanted to work on today is how to make the scalable part actually scalable. And uh, that's possibly one of the parts that people really don't talk about too much when they're talking about scalable graphics, how to make it scalable. So let's just talk about that right now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to start with the bare bones um, of, of a website here. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and make a div with the ID of wrapper. So now that we have the wrapper here, I have an SVG that I'm just going to go ahead and paste in. Now, how to create an SVG, we can talk about that in a different video. But I created this SVG, and uh, it spit out the code for the SVG. And now when I run it, it brings me the actual uh, thing that I made. Now, I created this SVG with a height of um, 437 pixels and a width of 439 pixels on my um on my canvas and as you can see um, it's pretty cool let me go ahead and style this so you would normally style an SVG the same way you would see just like that and let's say um, we can say actually you would let's go ahead and style the wrapper just so you can see that you can do things like background is blue and now the background is blue and it works kind of like a PNG in that respect where all the white space that you would normally have can be taken out okay so here's our background of blue and um, but we're gonna make it a little bit uh, brighter blue so our RGBA so zero zero uh, let's see 255 red green blue yeah 255 and then let's make it like 0.4 that's a little bit better okay so we're gonna go ahead and center this SVG just so we can take a look at how it's gonna work and how it's gonna work scalability but before we do that let's just worry about the scalability before I over you know <laughs> go too far ahead of myself okay so normally you would think that you can just take the SVG because the SVG is actually within this area right here this is the first part of the SVG the opening tag and this is the closing tag of the SVG right here okay so you would think that just like any other you know div tag of any sort you can just go ahead and say SVG and you can say like for example border is a green solid and there's our green solid right there okay now you would think that for example here's my height and here's my width now, if I were to say height um, 50 pixels and width 50 pixels. Now, notice, this is why I put the border around the SVG. Notice, what we did change was the viewport of the SVG. We brought the viewport down to 50 by 50, okay? And basically, that's what happened. So let's make this, let's go ahead and make this a little bit brighter, and let's make the height uh, 100 of the viewport. That way, we can fit the entire thing. Okay, good. And let's take this padding away. Okay, so now we have it set up perfectly well. Now, um, as you can see, like if I went out to 150 by 150, so the actual SVG is the container, the canvas, but the actual uh, information inside the canvas is not being scaled, okay? So how do we go about in scaling everything? So let's go ahead and take this off and do that now let's let's see if we can make this pretty scalable so you only need one line of code within your SVG to make this work 
and not now if you're using something like Adobe Illustrator, it'll automatically put this line of code in there, but not all of us have all the money in the world to be able to buy Adobe products, okay? But uh, basically what you wanna use is this view box, and the view box will equal, now it's gonna have four integers. Now the first integer is where the view box will start. So the view box is gonna start, for example, in this case, zero by zero, which is this corner right here. So we're gonna say zero, zero, no need for commas or anything. Then we're gonna put the width and the height of the view box, which in this case is real easy because the width and the height is brushed, pushed right up against my image. And so it's gonna be 439 by 439. Okay, so when we run that, as you can see, oh, sorry, 437. Okay, and as you can see, um, everything, nothing really changed here, but what we're going to do is um, this and this actually corresponds to the information, all the part of the SVG that you're actually trying to scale. And we already know that the width and the height is for the actual, um, the actual, uh, container here okay so let's do some experimentation if we were to take this and this and bring it down to 100 what's gonna happen you see what it did was it told me that I'm gonna go out zero I'm gonna start at zero by zero and only going to bring this up to 100 by 100 uh, uh, the amount of the uh, of, of what I'm gonna view Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo that. And to make this scalable, now that we know that the viewport contains the entire image, we can now take this width and this height and do what we wanted to do to it. So for example, we can say width 50 pixels, height 50 pixels, and voila. Not only did our um, width and height of the of the SVG move, but everything inside moved. Why? Because we said that the view box, no matter how big this is, the view box is gonna in, in, uh, include all of my um, information. So if we did like with auto, which is what you're looking for, or I'm sorry, 100%, which is what you're looking for, here's our scalability like we're looking for, okay? Now notice, the uh, the width of the SVG was 100%, and we got to say that the uh, height is auto. And now we have it completely scalable the way we were looking for, okay? So that's basically how you scale. And of course, no matter how big you go, which is the, the appeal of F S SVG, no matter how big you are, it's gonna be crystal clear very sharp edges here okay so let me go ahead and there we go grab this correctly so as you can see no matter now we can take this away here also just by taking away the width and the height it'll constrain my so I don't even have to have a width and a height as long as um, I have my view box correct now what about this zero and zero if i wanted to start it at a different spot i can do that so let's go ahead and make this 100. notice it pushed it up because we're starting at 100 by 100. does that make sense now so whenever you want to scale your svgs just make sure you have this view box area right here um, any, if you have any questions, please let me know and don't forget to subscribe to get more simple tips like these. Have a great day.